Suppose that something could come into existence from nothing. If that were the case, then it's inexplicable. Why just anything and everything doesn't pop into being out of nothing. But no one here tonight is worried that while you're listening to this debate, a horse may have popped into being uncaused out of nothing in your living room and is there defiling the carpet right now as we speak. As Dr. Slezik himself has written in another context, only academics could be so ridiculous. If made seriously outside the seminar room, such claims would be evidence of clinical derangement. In fact, the suggestion that the universe popped into being uncaused out of nothing is worse than magic when you think about it. At least in the case of magic, when the magician pulls a rabbit out of the hat, at least you've got the magician and, and the hat. But in the case of atheism, the universe or the rabbit just pops into being out of absolutely nothing. And I submit to you that's just metaphysically crazy. So that's the first reason, I think, on behalf of the causal premise. Secondly, the causal premise is a universally verified and never falsified principle of empirical science. This should be the highest form of proof to Dr. Slezik as an empiricist. And notice you cannot dismiss the causal principle like a taxi cab when you get to the origin of the universe. The only reason that anyone would deny it in that context is out of a desire to avoid the theism that it implies. But that is simply question-begging in favor of atheism. So, in short, I think that the first premise is impeccable, that we have good reason to believe that whatever begins to exist has a cause. 